marvelous night for football in Little Rock 65 degrees very little wind Arkansas won the coin toss but deferred until the second half so New Mexico will receive and a young walk on freshman who earned a scholarship in his first week this man Kendall trainer kicking it off tonight for Arkansas and what a job he does as he boots it off. see good swarming coverage by the Hogs early Paul always four or five defenders around the ball. Smith averaging 32 yards and there's a loose football a big pile up and New Mexico State I believe Kevin will come up with it at the Arkansas 38 the Aggies of New Mexico State Miller throwing ball deflected and Otis Lloyd comes up with it number 36 and Lloyd who gets his first start as a Razorback makes a big play for Arkansas freshman's the option of avoiding a good hit that's why he's going to stay healthy he gets up in there and ducks his head and always looking for more yards. His first pass tonight, the game for Chivas, and James is out of bounds at the New Mexico State 40-yard line. Out to the corner, and Greg did a good job putting the ball right on the sideline. Good game. There's another good game. Sammy Van Dyke powers his way. Here's the Greg Thomas is checking off here. Runs the counter play. James Rouse. Or make that. So it's third and six, Arkansas, at the New Mexico State 11. Carl Miller, touchdown, Arkansas, as Miller scores from 11 yards out, and the Hogs go up in front six to nothing. A lot of misdirection by the Hogs. You saw the crossbuck play a few times. Greg Thomas fakes one way. This time it's the pure counter. Fakes to the right, hands back to the left. Miller sees the hole to the outside, dips out, and then just lowers his head and gets in the end, coming back from fumble and taking off a pass. Stay with us. The Hogs on top early. Seven to nothing over New Mexico State. The pass. They'll run occasionally, but they set up the long pass with the short pass. Here they go again. Miller from the New Mexico State 40. It is complete. And on the receiving end, Bullcox at Lloyd. Stopped by Basil and Nick Miller. So it's third down and four for the Aggies at their own 46-yard line. Miller chased by Raven Caldwell, and Raven almost got there, but was effective enough that was called. So the Hogs, first down as Thomas again is back. This time over the middle, it is complete. Kyle Miller at the 30, 25, and Miller out of bounds at the Aggie 23 yards is holding. At the 22-yard line, there's a fake field goal. Looters shovel pass forward, and the Hogs, I believe, have picked up the first down. Just a little shovel pass. Looters took the snap. Looked like he was going to place it down the team, but instead just shovel passed it forward. Great play. Nice call, too. First and ten. And Terry Tatum was on the receiving end of that shovel pass. Down to the ten. Down to the nine-yard line is Big Derrick. James Rouse out of Parkview is in the ball game. Number 35 gets the call. Touchdown, Arkansas. And James Rouse, his second collegiate score. And his second touchdown in as many weeks. A lot of youngsters making big contributions to the Hogs. Greg Thomas, just a sophomore, runs the misdirection play. You see the fake to Derek Thomas, the fullback, and then hands back behind to Rouse, who just runs along the outside. He got a great block from his tight end, sealing everything in. Leading New Mexico State as the Hogs move. Put a stick on the receiver and get in there. We're going to cause some tip balls and maybe some balls to be up in the air. Uh-oh, draw play. Bocox, and he hits straight up to about the 39. A loose football, however, and coming up with it is Tony Cherico. The hit was made by Eric Wooded, and Cherico comes up with the fumble recovery. New Mexico State ran a sneak draw play. The quarterback goes by the fullback and then sticks the ball in behind him. It looks like a good play, but he gets a great hit here. The ball's on the ground right now. You see the guy land there without the football. It's back here with the receiver curling deep or dumping the ball off to his back, and he chose his back a little bit short. 48-yard field goal attempt, working its way over the crossbar by Greg Horn out of Russellville, and it is good, and the Hawks now. Rowley in motion, and Bocox again gets the call, and he's going to be denied. Hogs from their own 47. A couple of minutes left to play, first quarter. Pass is complete, down to the 30-yard line and out of bounds to Theo. Back at the New Mexico State 32-yard line. Thomas back, looking, looking. He has Shebest open. Shebest at the 10, the 5, down to the 1 and out of bounds. Is last year's conference leader in receptions with 51, James Shebest. Broken bone that time. Have the New Mexico State end zone. Foreman again, touchdown Arkansas. Good body movement going forward by Foreman. 
Greg just turned. Shaw leading 24 nothing. Hogs were 30 point favorites coming into the game. More yards. So State with a minute 16 left in the quarter has it at its own 39 yard line. Miller downfield. It is complete. Big play to McDonald and brother. The Aggies knocking on the door. Arkansas, a shutout last week. Three under Ken Hatfield. Draw play. Bocox, touchdown, New Mexico State. Something about a passing team. Draw play straight up the middle. We were thinking pass, and it was probably a good call, but still 24 to 7. The opening quarter in Arkansas leading 24 to 7. Oh, we're working on the longest first quarter I can recall. It sure is only 15 minutes. <laughs> Fumble, loose football as Miller brought it back over the 25-yard line and New Mexico State has recovered. What's happening to the Hogs? Coach Hatfield will get that corrected. We need to step in here and stop New Mexico State right here. Miller, ball deflected up in the air. David Dudley, the linebacker. Dudley spun around at the 20. He's still moving up over the 25, and Dudley gets it up for the Arkansas 27. You know, Dudley had a great run against Ole Miss with this interception for a touchdown. We may need to move him back. in the air, a little surprising twist in the first quarter. It sure is. You like the excitement? Over 300 yards total offense in the first quarter. Here we go again. Van Dyke, oh, what a great move. Midfield at the 40 of the Aggies, the 30, the 20, and knocked out of bounds on a tremendous run by Sammy Van Dyke. And the Hogs are knocking it to the... Coach Hatfield's giving him his chance to score. There he goes again. And he said, hey, I've worked too hard. Touchdown, Arkansas, and Sammy Van Dyke. As the Hogs move 73 yards in six plays for the top by a score of 31 to 7. Stay with us, sir. From the Aggie 13-yard line. You can see the double wing, one setback. Ooh. What a hit by Bradford, number 43. Tony Chair Miller's already thrown the ball 14 times, had two picked up. And Raleigh on a counter, and he is hit by Bradford, and there'll be a loss of another yard on the play. It's from the nine-yard line, Jim Miller has Raleigh in motion to the bottom of your screen. Miller back at his own three, under a lot of pressure. And Miller is going to be sacked for a loss. David Basil, the first man there, and a lot of help. Cherico also in on the play. Basil was king his back. His back didn't go out, so he rushed and sacked the quarterback. High punt by Smith. Wyatt is there at the 40. Wyatt back downfield, and Wyatt will get in. Got good field position for him. Like seeing takes his team down and score. Also wants Mark Calcane to get a chance. Uh-oh, little mix up there. Loose football and bodies flying around. New Mexico State will come up with it. Isn't it? Mark Calcagney will get an opportunity to play tonight. Saw Mark throwing before the game. He looks very sharp. Miller Despite back. The layoff. And there are more. Razorback red jerseys led by Brother Alexander. Paul, we have a stable of linebackers and rovers. He can, Rick Goldsmith can alternate six or seven different guys in there, and they're all very active. There they go again. Mm, mm, mm. David Basler. Razorback 44, first down. Good read by John Bland. And Derek Thomas still spinning into Aggie territory. Second down and goal from the 12-yard line of New Mexico. Quarterback draw. Bland, a little daylight, but he's hauled down just two yards shy of a touchdown. Two steps, set up, and then forward straight ahead. Land of the option. Touchdown! What a thrill for the young freshman, and what a job he game is coming up. Kendall Trainer out of production. Time running out here in the first half. Draw play. Bocox, 40. Down to the 30. And inside the 25. The quarterback always with his hand in his face. You see Bradford lined up on the outside, rushing the passer once again. Helping out of the sack. Steve Jones on the play. From Bradford in front of the quarterback, and then Steve is able to sneak in and sack him. Good play. Weiler, 46-yard attempt, and it is good. And so, New Mexico State now has gone 10 consecutive quarters after taking the kickoff at the 5. Mark Calcagney in the ball game. This is Joe Johnson at the 40. Johnson, 45 to the 46-yard line of Arkansas. You got a young man in Mark Calcagney that's not played this season. Here he goes on his first pass attempt of the season. Wide open. Rouse midfield at the 40. Rouse at the 30. And the Little Rock Parkview freshman has scored on a tremendous bomb 
of 79 yards. A little bit of misdirection call. Marks sprinted to the left, set up, had a receiver going straight down the middle of the field, entertaining the defensive backs. You saw him sprint left, turn back, and throw to Rouse, running up the sideline. He's wide open, a great throw by Mark. Nothing wrong with that shoulder. And then James turns on the speed. These are fast defensive backs ch chasing this 205-pound running back, but there's no way he's going to catch. catch. So there's three quarterbacks that have taken the team down and put points on the board tonight. Not and bad. we have a timeout. Arkansas 45, New Mexico State 10. Put points on the board, and we've got three good ones. First and 10 from the New Mexico State 19. And under a lot of pressure, Jim Miller does a good job of getting out of it and throws incomplete intended for McDonald. Early in the ball. New Mexico State it's at its own 24-yard line. Another quick pitch and a great tackle by Atwater on Dunn and the gain only a yard. So Smith is on to do the punting and he fires a high end over end kick. Wyatt will take it and Wyatt brings it back upfield midfield. Aggie 45, 40, 35. Wyatt all the way to the 29-yard line of New, of New Mexico State. Very noisy, and we need every chance we can get to run a successful play. There's Mark again. And he just lowers that shoulder and piles into about the 11-yard line. A lot braver than I am. He just powered ahead on fourth down, came up a little bit short, but showed that he is tough, has a lot of courage. So the Hogs didn't make the first down, and the ball over to New Mexico. Aggies had been penalized for personal foul at the end of that pass play for the first time. Here's an interception. Eric Bradford, and Bradford returns it for 10 yards. Faces in here. J.R. Brown, Derek Thomas is the fullback, and Joe Johnson as the halfback. Now Cagney, excellent fake, spinning, turning inside the 25 to the 22-yard line of the Aggies. Talk about old numbers, folks. That looked like Ron Kyle Cagney. Down, and Greg Horn is on. He'll be attempting a 44-yard field goal. Jamie Luter's holding. And the kick is no good, as you can see, wide to the right. Stepping up and making the big plays. Breeding so well. The defense is very, very well prepared for this ball game. David Shell was chasing, but there's the speed of Ricky Williams once again. Folks got a chance to see Ricky fly in the corner of their TV screen and make the sack of the quarterback. That's two weeks in a row now Ricky has come in and sacked the quarterback. He reads his keys, sees that there's no one in pass coverage that comes in, and he did it once again on that play and actually caused First teamers are resting. Coach Hatford getting his other guys in the ball game, give them a chance to play. Let's see how they're going to perform. Sneak there's draw play. Draw and Bo or, uh, Bocox up the middle, and Ricky Williams again is right there where the action is. Good look in out of the end zone camera. Out of the south end zone, Jim Miller, that sophomore. And here comes Steve Jones, and Jones will sack Miller for a loss of four yards. We out together when he was in high school. I saw him go from about a 5'10", 155-pound youngster to 6'2", 200 pounds. He's made two great So Weiler is on. He's attempting a 50-yard field goal. It is long enough. It is good. And Weiler tonight has kicked New Mexico State now. 10.36 remaining in the football game from the 27. This is Miller pumping, being rushed out of the pocket, and he is going to be dropped as he loses a cup to State. Now's when having home fans is so important. They make a lot of noise, get the defense fired up. Wow, what a hit on Raleigh. He'll only pick it. And Weiler is on, attempting a 30-yard field goal. It is no good. New face, but same type of offense. Those quick pop type passes, possession type passes. He sprints, sets up, looks for a receiver, getting a lot of pressure on this play. Great sack. That was all the Miller did. Seems to work just well in this offense. A little mix up here. And red jerseys all around led by is back on. This will be a 46-yard field goal attempt. And the kick. No good as it five quarterbacks got to play. A lot of people played both offensively and defensively, but a big win for the Hogs. And as Ken Hatfield looks for Fred Zucker.